Today we're going to talk about a real common problem that comes up a lot on the 850 models especially. If you live somewhere like we do in Portland, you notice it even more because we get a good amount of rain. It's become known to us over the years and happened to many of our own cars that as these cars age, for some reason the wiper arm, specifically on the driver's side, tends to uh, unspring and unform a little bit so that as it sweeps here, it starts lifting and you get real poor contact on the windshield. That results in loss of visibility and a lot of unswept area that's right in your vision or your field of vision when you're driving. So today, we're going to talk about how to fix it real easily. As you can see in the video here, at the top of the blade travel, it lifts way off the windshield. This becomes a big safety issue when you're driving because it's totally unswept and it makes it very hard to see. So a couple of the tools you want to have handy are a couple rags to help protect the wiper arm blade and a couple pairs of vice grips channel locks. Now you don't necessarily you need to use these, but they kind of make the fine tuning a little bit easier. Now to start off, we're going to start off without the tools. Now what happens on these things, and one of the things that, that becomes an issue is, is as the thing travels up, it lifts off this way. So essentially what we want to do is just bend the thing so that the arm itself is a little bit pushed down. Now there's enough flex and give in this that it's okay if it's pressing a little bit harder as you're down on the bottom here. So it's okay to do this. Now the issue becomes is getting it to bend the right way without torquing something the wrong way. So essentially what we're going to shoot for is keeping this part, the base of it, in place and then taking this piece and bending it down. So we want this part, the actual arm, to move down in relation to the pivot. So to achieve this, I'm just going to start really rudimentarily. I start by the, holding this here and the idea is to hold this part of it steady and push this part down. So you use this hand to kind of pull up a little bit while you push down on this to bend this piece down in comparison to that. So it's not a perfect art, it's just a matter of kind of giving it some muscle until you can feel it give a little bit and then stopping every once in a while and checking. You're not going to get it perfect the first time unless you're a lot better at this than I am. So it's just a matter of doing it a little bit, get the windshield a little bit wet, turn the wipers on and watch the travel. Watch the swept area and watch to see if it's lifting. As you do it a little bit more, kind of ease into it and by the time you get it to go that way, you're pretty much good. Now what can happen sometimes if you do this is it's hard to finesse it equally, so sometimes the thing can torque a little bit this way or that way so that the blade is not angled just right, so it'll kind of want to chatter a little bit. We want this to be as straight as possible. Now when that happens, it's actually really easy, and this is where the rags and the vice grips and channel locks come in handy. All we need to do at this point is simply get the arm to twist a little. But again, like before, we don't want to have the whole thing torque too much. We want it to be pretty even, so what we're going to do is we're going to use one set of the channel locks to hold it steady down here, and we're going to use the rag to protect it. So it's just a matter of getting the blade out of the way, wiping the rag, or we're putting the rag on there, taking our channel locks, or our vice grips rather, and holding that and clipping that on nice and snug there. This is going to be our pivot point here. Now, I'm going to use the other rag, and I'm going to use my channel locks, same thing, wrap the rag around that to protect it, grab up at the top, and now it's just a matter of whatever way you need to go, twisting these in relation to each other. So if we want it to go a little bit more this way to even it out, then we'll take this top one and we'll pull back that way and we'll torque it that way the other way. And this is just for kind of fine tuning at the end to get the blade as flat on there as possible after you've straightened the whole thing. Now again, this is like before where you want to do a little, test a little, do a little, test a little bit. After you do that a few times, you kind of get the hang of it, see what it's all about, and pretty good, should get a pretty good result pretty quickly. So now that we've rebent the wiper arm into shape, it's not totally perfect, but you can sure see how much better it is. Now watch as it gets to the top of the travel here, how much more of a swept area it has, both top and bottom of the blade, much, much better than before. So this is just a real quick overview of one simple fix that we found that works pretty decently. Now if this still doesn't work, if you're still getting lift on the end, another option is just replacing the entire arm with a new one. This is actually pretty easy as well. All it requires is lifting the hood and removing one 13 millimeter nut, then removing the arm, swapping the blade over to the new arm and popping it on and retightening the same nut. Very easy. If you have any questions on this procedure or what the prices are or the part numbers are on the blades for your car or the wiper arm for your car, just give us a call or check our website at IPDUSA.com.